Did you know that Saskatchewan is an essential part of the global diamond industry? Rock samples from all over the world are sent to the Saskatchewan Research Council's lab in Saskatoon. I'm Michael McKelling, I'm the supervisor of the, the diamond labs at the Saskatchewan Research Council. In the past 24 months, we've had samples from several different continents, anywhere from Botswana, South Africa, India, Western Australia, uh, Greenland, and then obviously uh, the, the Arctic in Canada. These samples may or may not contain engagement ring quality diamonds. It's the SRC's job to find out. The samples come in as chunks of rock called kimberlite. The kimberlite is melted down and sifted away until the sample is small enough to look at under a microscope. They use rubies to test the diamonds. Rubies have a hardness scale of 9, while diamonds are a 10. The only thing that can scratch a ruby is a diamond. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. We all like those scratches. Another method takes one ton samples of kimberlite and breaks them down to about this big. Did I mention there are James Bond style security measures throughout the building? Especially in this room where the final sample is sorted by hand. So that's just to make sure that we've got two person accountability for any high risk areas. It takes many, many hours to sift through the rock to find any diamonds hiding inside. Just for fun, I was put to the test. In this sample, there is one half carat diamond. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, looking so, for a diamond. Yeah, looking for a diamond. Oh. See, in something like that, we would have to do thumbs up to the camera because you've dropped something, so you point it out to the camera. So you need to pick it up. Yeah, and then you go pick it up and put it into the pan. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. so, don't worry, this is all. <laughs> and then we go with thumbs no up. No one's going to come knock on the door yeah. today. <laughs> Once the SRC knows how many diamonds are in each sample, they can accurately determine if an area would be a good potential spot for a diamond mine in the future. The best part is, all of this takes place right here in Saskatchewan. I think, yeah, we are pretty unique in, in what we do here because there's only a few labs in the world that, that, that do this type of work on the scale that we do. Being located in Saskatoon, I think it's pretty special.